As someone who practices traditional archery, I've always wondered, when will that day come? When we get invaded, when our neighbors invade us. Given the state of the world, you never know. It could come from any side, east, west, south, north, that's right. You know what I'm talking about. They, they got they got seals and uh, you know uh, killer whales like doing their bidding for them. Yeah, I'd be scared too. That's what I'm trying to warn you. It's coming. The Canadians are coming. The the invasion's coming. Great White North, they're gonna come steaming down. But you never know, man. It could be like Molson Golden and Moose and Maple Leaves up in here any day, man. You gotta be ready for those Canadians. The, the, those come down out from the, the Great White North, you know, riding polar bears, you know, drinking Molson out of like heads of penguins. It's sickening what they're doing, the polar bears breeding them like rabbits. As a traditional archer, you know, we all, we like shooting traditional bows for what they are. Not a sight, not any fancy gadgets, no stabilizers. But I mean, come on, get real people. Like push came to shove, Do I want to like shoot instinctively, take my chances? Or am I gonna go slap a sight on a compound bow? Or on my ILF rig, turn it to like an Olympic comp? Hell yeah, I'm going to. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking chances. I'm slapping that sight on it because it's not cheating anymore. It's war. Okay, this is the closest thing I could find for a Canadian. Yeah, it looks Canadian to me, right? I think Canadian, Canadian when I look at that. Sure. Am I being racist? I don't know. Are Canadians a race? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Boo hoo to you. Yeah, they're not. So shut up then. You slap a sight on that boat. Because I tell you what, they know, they know the ammo's low. They know it's not going to last forever. And, and what are we going to do? You're going to start forging bullets in your backyard? No. Okay, so we have our little mounted Canadian down on the target over there. You know I'm making this video for our art, and I hope you're, you're around. And I hope you see this. <laughs> oh, I love you, man. I hope you're doing well back to the Canadians, so. They're everywhere, <clears throat> everywhere. <clears throat> Hollywood, banks, sports, hockey. <clears throat> Might as well just call it the Canadian Hockey League. Come on. Um, yeah, think about it. Think about the last time you laughed at a joke. Think about who told that joke. We're gonna try to snipe that little Canadian down there. They pretend like, you know, the invasion came, they came down, they're polar bears, they're throwing penguins. It's all hell breaking loose, moose head, hockey sticks. Again, they're pulling people's shirts over their faces and punching them. It's ugly. So. It's invasive, invasive, and subversive. That's right. Go ahead, drink that Molson. Drink that Molson Golden. Drink that Seagram Seven. Drink that Canadian whiskey. Play, play that game. Just smash that hockey puck. Just remember, just remember next time. You, you put that Molson up to your lips. You smash that hockey puck into your best friend's face. You remember. You remember where, whose side you're on.
side pan is red, white, and blue. That's right. God damn it. Yeah, I know. That's, that's just that truth. Who, who knew they, they would, they would, you know, flood, break all the dams and flood the plains and come across and on ice skates. That just took us by surprise. And, you know, the Canadians, they, they could just better skaters, man. So, who knew? Who knew? Never saw that coming, you know. They're coming. The Canadians are coming. You best be ready. Is this going to do it? Yeah. Speed shooting. Fast shooting. Sorry, Martin, Charlie, anyone out there. Speed shooting, fast running. <laughs> no. No, not going to work. You far away, far away, far away where they can't see you because I don't care how many arrows you can shoot in five seconds, four seconds, two seconds, unless you're Lars Anderson. And even if you're Lars Anderson, like he's doing that stuff when he wakes up after he just scratched his ass. No, he practices that over and over and over and over until he finally gets that crazy shot that he does. Come on. Come on, if he was doing that shit regularly, he would show it more than once. Come on. How, how long is he working on a shot? Yeah, I can shoot through a fucking keyhole too. Excuse my French. Yeah, you give me like a month, I'll shoot through that keyhole and jump and blindfold or whatever. Odds are you will get through that keyhole eventually. Okay? Throw a bunch of monkeys in the room typing on a typewriter. Come on. Sorry, Lars. Totally respect what you're doing. And I'm not, I don't, I don't mean to undermine or belittle what you do at all. You're the world's greatest, definitely, you know, but yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, I could shoot that keyhole. Yeah, maybe you, they're going to do it like 10 times faster than me, but I could eventually do it too. <laughs> um, anyhow, did I just compare myself to Lars? That, that's pretty inflated of me. Whatever. Come after me, Lars. Let's see what you got. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you what they're doing. I'll tell you what all the traditional archers up in the Great White North are doing. Yeah, yeah they're practicing in, instinctively and in, in gap. And what have you to show me? It is a bow for the people. What have you brought to me? It's a bow for the people. What is this? It's a bow for the people. The working man's bow. For the proletariat. And what is it? It's the people's bow. Will it work? Yes, it will work. Will it work on polar bears? I'm right, it will work. Any ex extra large polar bears? And what if I, you know, I pimped up my polar bear a little bit. And I got, I got big, you know, big, big masks and... Yeah, Christmas lights and... Little tinsel. You know... I don't know, I'm trying to be cool like Mad Max. Will it work? Yes, it will work. I tested it myself. <laughs> no, bro, they're stopping sights on their bows. They're stopping freaking red dots in their bows. I actually thought about why not, you know, red dot. I Checking out Average Jack. He was showing this little red dot scope for a compound. Hell yeah. I'm gonna try put whatever I can on there. A laser. Well, you know, laser kind of gives you away. Kind of silly. Alaska. But I mean, a lot. Yeah. Well, thank goodness we have Alaska. We have Alaska. Yeah. Well, well, how, how long can Alaska hold? They're surrounded. They're isolated. And can we really trust Alaska? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're part of the United States. But are they really? I mean, it's Alaska. I'm gonna have like freaking like 
pie pans and like the, the cupcake, you know, like the cupcake pans. They're, they're real thick, you know. You, are, are, are Alaskans trustworthy? I only know of one Alaskan. Just, you make that armor out of like pots, pans, frying pans, cast iron, you know, and, and you just... Mad Max that shit, man. Yeah, there wasn't there like a certain governor of Alaska that was running for president? No, not president. Vice president. Yeah, she was she was a vice president. Tina Fey. Yeah, Tina Fey. <laughs> you gonna trust Tina Fey? Remember, it's war. Use every tool to your advantage. Don't take any unnecessary risks if you don't have to. You slap that sight on your bow without even thinking twice. And the other guy laughs at you. You slap him in the face and you tell him to put sight on his bow too. Yeah. Just just take Alaska out of the equation. You know, they're, they're coming down. They're supplying the polar bears. Where do you think they come from? Alaska? Yeah. You know. Oh. Well, hello. It, it's a freaking arms trade. You're just... The... Military-industrial complex is going to profit off of the war. They don't care whose side they're selling them to. Those polar bears are just hand over fist going here and there, anywhere, willy-nilly here. There's got like polar bear sales, like clearance sales. Man, Alaska's just going to unload them polar bears. They don't care. It's all about them dollars. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know how to shoot with this light. Yeah, you will figure that out pretty quickly, goddammit. <laughs> All joking aside, uh, war is not the answer. Definitely not. Unless those Canadians f***ing <laughs> down, then it is the answer. <laughs> no, peace, y'all. So, war is not the answer. Never is. Okay? Think think about who, who's profiting off this war. Not the people dying. Not the people fighting. Never. Never. Look at the big picture. Oh, man, that Canadian so lucky. I, I just like watch the arrow like sail right down next to Pokey, <laughs> like twice. Just grazing, grazing the Canadian. Huh? Well, we'll warm it up. We'll take another shot at it. Take another stab at it. Those two. 